CEO Jeff poses admits that he reads in his bathtub. He takes a one-gallon Ziploc bag and he puts his e-reader inside it, book in hand, safe and sound. An interesting way to combine two popular stress-relieving pastimes. I'm not sure that I'm that coordinated enough to master this even with a Ziploc bag. Bathtubs are the picture-perfect scene to the end of a hard day for many people. I have trouble sitting in a tub. I don't find it very relaxing, and my mind usually wanders off to what else needs to be done. Part of the SOS principle that I developed involves finding strategies that get your mind off of the stressful situation. The key is to find something that works for you. So here are today's hot tips for building resiliency and celebrating National Read in the Tub Day. If you have trouble slowing down to relax, ask yourself why. Are you too caught up in what needs to be done next? Keep the superhuman syndrome in check. We need to take time to take care of ourselves. If the bathtub or a good book doesn't do it for you, find something else that does. Find something that changes the speed, changes your focus, and helps you to renew your energy. If you're still willing to try the book and the tub combo to relax, I suggest starting with a magazine or a book that doesn't matter if it gets wet. Looking for more ways to build your resiliency? Take my free online vulnerability test at WorkSmartLiveSmart.com under the Resources and Courses tab.